Welcome back to the Michigan Business Beat, brought to you on the Michigan Business Network. I'm Chris Holman at the uh, downtown Lansing Studios, and we're going to go just across town, spend a little time with uh, Amerika Richardson. She is the Clean Slate Navigator for the Capital Area Michigan Works, and that sounds so ominous, Amerika. Tell me a little bit about that. What exactly is that? So as a clean slate navigator, I assist people seeking expungement to remove that barrier and, and, and make sure that they can re-enter the workforce and help them sustain employment. So that is the main short version of what I do, but that's yeah. many things. <laughs> so so let's, let's go, let's go into some of those things. Um, sure. and, and really, uh, you know, uh, how, how it relates to employers, because they're a big customer when you think about it at the Capital Area Mission Works. Yes, I agree. And so if you look at the study that was done by two of the law professors from University of Michigan, it clearly states that 11% of um, people that are uh, going into the workforce, um, and I'm sorry, I think I have my number wrong. I apologize here. Oh, it's higher than that. It yeah. is higher than that. It's much higher than that, looking back. Um, but 11% of them, apologies. I have a feeling it might be more like 89%. <laughs> I think you're correct. Okay. Okay. There we go. Uh, we'll, we'll back up. It says that two University of Michigan law school professors found that those whose criminals records are set aside are 11% more likely to have a job and earning wages that are more than 20% higher than beforehand. So I do apologize about my numbers. Um, when criminal records are set aside, we call that expungement and it provides opportunities and we know that good jobs are important. We know that we want to help people sustain and get back to work so they can provide for their family. So since the clean slate laws have come out, we have seen that growth. You see 11 percent statewide, but that growth is much bigger for the city of Lansing. Well, and it takes some care. You know, one of the beauties of COVID has been with with the great resignation is, is that as employers, we have to get a little more creative about where we're going for employees. And so it's it's causing us to look at areas like this, people coming out of the penal system, uh, disabled, uh, retired, who might want to come back part time and flex schedule, etc. So uh, tell me how your program is going initially. Um, is there a call for these people? And, and are we placing them? Absolutely. You know, we have great numbers right now with people trying to get into Clean Slate and successfully going through expungement with the fairs that we've done, partnering with the city and partnering with other organizations. I'm just grateful to see that people are coming into the process and leaving the process feeling like they have received that benefit. And it's not just people that have been incarcerated. It's minor things that would kind of weed you out from that initial application. Maybe you had a smaller infraction, a traffic offense even. The application doesn't know the difference so if you put that you had something on your record you might not get considered for a job just because something was on the record and it could be something very minor so well and of course the other thing we're seeing is people coming out of prisons for things that were illegal at that time and no longer are exactly you know? that's a big no. one that's yes. a very big one so so let's talk about the employers are they ending up are, are they getting involved in the program and how do you go seek them out we haven't had to seek them out so far. They've been coming to us, especially, you know, if they have some type of people that they want to move up into a higher position, but there's something on their record. Um, they've been doing those referrals right over to us, partnering with us if they want to have a clean slate fair. We're happy to do that because we want to make sure that their people know what's going on and that the word is getting spread throughout the community. Excellent. Excellent. So, so um, tell me about how clean slate um actually benefits. I mean, there's a there's a piece of this, which is also kind of, I would think, vetting the applicants, you know, making sure they're ready. So we do have a, a process. We do ask people to register so that we can get the full picture. A lot of people think, oh, I read the law. It said five, seven years. We want to make sure that we talk to them about their specific charge because it could be three years. It could be something um, that we can look into now. And so what we ask people to do is just register. That way we can double check for them and inform them of when that time is to come for them to get that expungement. All right, so now let's talk about the individual. How can how can individuals know if they're even eligible uh, to work with you? And if they are, uh, how, how do they reach out? 
Sure. So that's an easy five minute application. You can go to the camwa.org website, search for Clean Slate, put your information in, and then I'll, <clears throat> I'll usually call back or email them and let them know, let's have a sit down meeting, let's talk about this record. So it only takes a few minutes for me to verify eligibility. Okay, is almost everybody eligible or are you having to actually say to people, I, I, this is gonna be a tough placement? Even if you're not eligible for expungement, we wanna help with those workforce issues. If you're wanting to get back into the workforce, we wanna make sure that we're looking at your resume and connecting you to the right partner to make sure that you get to work. We wanna get you to employment and make sure you achieve your goals of sustainability. Well, listen, you're doing wonderful work there. You really are. And you're also taking care of the biggest problem that business is facing right now, and that's shortage of talent. <laughs> no? I'm glad to help any way that I can. We're glad to have you on board. And thanks for joining us today. Thanks for taking the time and keep up the good work. And Marika Richardson, she is the clean slate navigator <laughs> for the Capital Area of Michigan Works. Talk to you soon. Thank you so much. All right, you're watching the Michigan Business Beat on the Michigan Business Network. I'm Chris Holmes. Stick around. There's a lot of help.